Soon, a lot of you are going to be starting year 13 having never sat a real exam and not had a normal year of school since year 10, which is a really scary thought. And some of you will be starting year 11, your GCSE year, having not had a full year in school since year 8 which is a lot of interrupted learning, a lot of time out of school that we've got to try and make up for. So, do I think you'll be sitting exams? Four exams this year that should be going on at the moment, I was most of the time 50-50 they were going to happen. I think I got to 60-40 when we started back in uh, school in September, but then they were swiftly cancelled after that. However, for next year's exams, the 2022-2023 exams, I am 90% they are going to happen. And I'm 90% for two main reasons. If we look at what is going on in schools at the moment with the current year 11s and the current year 13s, they are probably finding that they are actually sitting more assessments than if they actually had exams. But these assessments are ones that have been put together by teachers or they're using the last year's papers which should have been secure but have been leaked widely all over the internet either for free or for sale. So they are not necessarily sitting secure exams, they are not necessarily sitting very um, fair tests because some people have had access to the, the papers with tutors and some people won't have done. They are also being marked internally by teachers and teachers are not perfect, they are human beings. Unless the school has put in some system to blind papers, they are gonna know who's gonna be sitting papers and then there might be some element of bias that comes in. And the range of evidence that is needed is wide and varied between schools. And I think in August we're gonna see rampant grade inflation because the government hasn't put anything in place to stop it. Um, and the amount of work that teachers and students are having to do is way more than they would have done if students had actually just sat exams with the modifications that had been planned. So I think because of the feeling in schools, the feeling with teachers and students at the moment is that it would have been easier if exams had just gone ahead. And the second main reason why I think exams are going to go ahead next year is that Ofqual have already started consulting on it. Now this is really, really early compared to the consultations they put out last year, which means they are planning on having um, releasing announcements or putting things in place much earlier than they did for this year, giving teachers a lot more notice about what is going to be in, what is going to be out, what is going to be changed. So for those two reasons, I am 90% confident that exams are going to be taking place next year. Now, I know if you're going to be in year 11 or if you're going to be in year 13 next year, that is probably something that is really, really scary and really, really daunting for you. Do not worry. Every single person in the country, if they're in year 11 or year 13, is in the same position as you. There is not a school that has been opened and has continuous provision for um, having every single student in the classroom every single day and doing all the practicals and being in front of a teacher every single day. That hasn't happened. Everyone has lots and lots of disrupted learning. So I do not want you to stress about sitting your GCSEs or A-levels now. Your job for now is just to get through to the end of this year. Chances are that you're gonna be having kind of like, you know, end of year assessments, probably after half term because um, your teachers are probably busy with the current year 11s and year 13s at the moment. And those will probably be used to determine things that happen next year. Now, normally I'd be saying that those will be important in working out your sets for year 11, or if you're in year 12, whether you can move on to year 13. I think teachers are going to be a lot more lenient this year and fully understand that there are massive gaps in learning and even within a class of students who have had the same online provision, people are going to have very, very different experiences at home and nobody is going to be able to be 
perfect and get great grades on these. So they're probably going to be much more used for working out where gaps are and what interventions teachers need to give you and what help you need to, to get. Now there are lots and lots of things that we can do together because I am in this with you 100% the whole way and um, there are lots of things that we can do together to help you go into year 11, go into year 13 really calm, really sorted, really um, ready for what is going to happen but we do not need to worry about that just yet. I will come back to you with like catch up plans, I will come back to you with loads and loads of stuff ready, sorted, waiting and this is what you need to do over your summer holiday and do not worry I'm not going to be making you work for the whole of your summer holiday because that would just be horrific but um, at the moment I am thinking that yes exams are going to happen I am working on a plan um, sorting out which bits are going to be most helpful for you to spend your time working on over the summer holidays um, and we can do this together guys so please do not stress yourself too much do not worry, just focus on what is going on at the moment. Just focus on keeping you um, mentally and physically healthy and helping those around you do the same. So um, good luck with the end of year guys. Do not worry, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way.